Hey guys, it's Sarah, and I'm going to do like a little look, and um, this is my first time doing this, so it's not going to be up close or anything like that, it's just going to be the way it is right now, because it's more or less just to showcase the brushes and how they work and my first impressions of using them. Um, some of them won't be first impressions because I've used uh, almost all of these brushes with the exception of one. Um, the brushes that I want to talk about are the Nanshi brushes. And they're very much similar to the Sigma brushes. And if you will look, you will see that they are very, very similar. And they just say Nanshi on these, on these ones. I don't think, yeah, the other ones have, have little names and stuff on it. This is a, I think a flat top angled Kabuki brush. And then this is just a flat top, much like the Sigma F80 that I have. Almost identical. I mean, um... These are really good quality brushes. I mean, I don't feel like they're going to come apart on me. And then there is the Large Shader Brush by Nanshi, which I have used today. And it's only on one eye, so I know it probably looks like wonky on one eye. And my eyes are probably watering. And the Tapered Crease Brush. And then there is the Nancy, Nanshi Blending Brush. But I'm going to go ahead. I've already... Uh, primed my eyes and I will do my eyes first before I do the rest of my face. Okay, I will be doing my eyes with the new tube palette and the colors that I will be using and yes, I know my mirror is broken so if you happen to see my mirror at all in, the, in any of these, that is why. I'll be using Sassy, Standoffish, and Silly. Um, Sassy is a white color, a white, whitish like champagne, or not whitish champagne. It's a white iridescent color. The standoffish is more of a champagne color. And Silly is just like a, um, I want to say a purpley, burgundy-ish color. So I will swatch those on my hand so that you can see what colors that I'm using. Okay. Now I'm going to get started. First I'm going to use the shader brush, the large shader brush, and I will have to use my mirror for this, so I will try to keep it out of angle as much as possible. And I'm going to go up into the, most people do this last, but it, does, I, it varies for me. I just kind of do this as, as the, for the way that I'm going to do my crease and stuff like that, so I'll put it on sometimes first. I'll put it in the inner corner to try to open up my eyes because Lord knows I ain't had much sleep. Now I'm going in with standoffish. And I'm going all across my lid up into the crease. And the light may change a little bit because I do have my window open. And I like to blend with my fingers whenever I'm doing this. So you'll see me with my fingers, you know, just going backwards and forth. The next thing that I am using is the Blender Eyeshadow Brush. Or no, I'm going to go in, I'm going to go in first with the Tapered Crease. Little crease brush. And I'm going in with that silly color. And I'm really going to tap it off because it's extremely pigmented. And I'm going to start out making, going down to the very bottom of my eye. And I will cut some of this so it's not so long, but, because I'm doing a full face here. And then I will go up into the corner and right up the way across. I kind of go in before and after I do this. Okay, so it might look a little bit wonky right now. Now I will go in with the Blending Eyeshadow Brush by Nancy and I will go back over all of this just to kind of blend it. And I will go back over it again because you do lose some of the color, but <clears throat> the next thing that I'm going to be using, I'm going to switch mirrors for this because I want an up-close mirror. And I'm just using the Ico. Uh, you can get this at Sephora. It's the Skinny Mini Pencil. 
and when you want to get like a precise angled crease, you'll follow it with your nose, take your eyeliner and make a dash, or like a precise cat eye line, and you'll see it left a little dash on the side. Then you'll connect that dash downward and then go straight the way across. and from there to here and it will connect right into your wing so you'll have the perfect wing you should have any time it took me a couple tries but I got that I used is the MAC Zoom Lash and that's in a sample and I really love it despite having a little bit of a wet formula so I'm going back in and I'm going to darken this back up where I left the color kind of washed out a little bit and I always do this. Always go back and try to. And your eyes, it's like sometimes I don't. Mine aren't exactly perfect, but I don't care. I mean, I'm just not gonna have that perfect look. And now I'm gonna go back in with my makeup wipe and just clear that line. Okay. So it's not exactly the same on both sides, but I did the best that I could. Um, the next thing that I'm going to go in with, I've already put my primer on. The primer I used was the Hard Candy, Hard Candy Sheer Envy Primer Dark, Correct, Dark Spot Correcting Primer. And that's like a really mouthful, but I used it. And then I'm going to go in with the L'Oreal True Batch Lumi, and I'm in the color... Where is the color? It's W1 to Porcelain Light Ivory because I'm a ghost. It's a flat top this time because I have used the angled and I'll tell you my thoughts on it afterwards. I'm going to put some on top and kind of stipple it all around my face. I'm going to blend. And I'm using the Revlon Nearly Naked Powder. Normally I will use Max. What is it? Studio Fix. Their full coverage powder. Sometimes I do. Sometimes I don't. It just depends. And I'm gonna go in. I just, I just, and it's a very light powder, so it just barely, hardly does anything. I want some. Concealer under my eyes, but I can't find my concealer right now, so I'm just going to use the foundation. I'm going to do my cheeks at first. I'm going to do my lips, and I'm going to use the uh, Sally Hansen Color. Is it Color? Color Fast. It's much like um, the what is it? A Revlon uh, lip balm. I'm going to go over that with Maybelline uh, Elixir in Nude Illusion. I'm going to contour with the Olympia NARS palette. And go in. Oh, that was a little bit more than what I intended to come out. I haven't used this brush in forever. I'm going to go underneath the chin. I'm going to do the nose. I'm going to do it with a light hand if I can. I'm going to use Max Gingerly. Looks like that. Use a little tiny NARS blush brush. And gingerly is a sheer tone blush, so you kind of have to work it in there to get it to show up. 
this blush actually does good at really putting the color on. Okay, I'm done. Now, uh, to go on to the blushes, or blushes, the brushes. Let me get them all here. As you can see, I used all three and this one and the, the flat shader brush today. And what I can say with these, I own the Sigma F80 and uh, this one performs exactly the same from what, from what I can tell you on this one. I really love using this one too. It's the flat top, the flat top angled kabuki and it is really just, is just as soft as Sigma. I mean, they're, I think they're like a few bucks cheaper. They're like, I think $14, $14 for each one of these. They may be on sale. You may be able to find a, a discount on these. I will put like a, a code below if I can, uh, if I can find one um, where you can get these at. I believe they sell them on Amazon. They also sell the big kits uh, that has all the brushes that you would like ever need and they're at a decent price. I think some's like at $50 for a full set. That's completely cheaper than some of the other brands. Um, as for the brushes, um, these two I really like. They pick up color, this one picks up color good. The, uh, the crease brush picks up color good and the shader, or the blending brush, I mean, it really, it blends out perfectly. And the large shader, um, it's a little bit stiff. Uh, for my liking, um, so I probably wouldn't repurchase this one, um, mainly because, like, it's just, um, it's so stiff that when it picks up color, it's really sheer. So if you're looking for a brush that picks up sheer color, then, um, you might like this one. But as far as the other four, I say give them a go. If, if you want to try brushes that are, like, identical to Sigma, in my opinion, um, without paying the extra bucks, you could try these. I mean, I, I like them. But that's just my opinion. Um, I'll have more in-depth review on my blog about them, um, where you can get them, like how they applied pictures and all that. So stay tuned for that and kindly check my blog and they have a little search to the side and you can actually search up Nancy and you should be able to find it. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye guys.